another coronavirus victim being hauled away to hospital. They're really just starting to park lot and having really, really look like another man suffering from coronavirus. Was found on was, was found in the motel room with very high fever, having virus. And right now, this man being hauled away in the ambulance to to a hospital get into. He will be in isolation at hospital. Again. I, that I do know. Number two, this this another coronavirus virus person, and they haul him off to the hospital if he speak. So another person, real bad case of coronavirus, could be in the hospital. Probably very will be in the hospital getting his treatment. If he survives, it'd be a miracle. If not, he don't. But he is another, another, another coronavirus. Okay, this, this is very close to where I live. So luckily, I'm very far, doing it from very, very far away. He's that contagious disease. I don't want to get it. I'm really social distancing more than I have to, because this is very, this is very dangerous. These officers are putting their life on the line right now. We speak just to get this guy in the ambulance tent. I, I give these ambulance tent a lot of credit for this. And it's a guy, a victim, another coronavirus victim on it, a suffering victim of virus, be hauled to a hospital. A cold, another victim in a COVID-19 Rose Motel case, COVID-19 at Rose Motel. <laughs> this is a little too close to home. I don't oh know, my God. I, I, it even gets me worried when I see stuff like this now. Of course, this is daily, when Canada under pandemic right now, this is the daily life of me and Hamilton, not knowing who will be open, who will be closed. Unfortunately, the Rove Motel may end up being having a door shut for good, hauling the guy in the ambulance as he speak. He's on his dresser, being loaded. Apparently, he was yelling and screaming in the parking lot <laughs> with nothing, hardly anything on. And the next thing, you know, we're having the we're hallucinating violently with high fever, and now he's being hauled in the ambulance to the hospital. And that's how me. He, that when he said that high fever, guess what? Coronavirus, COVID-19 COVID virus. And that, luckily I didn't come in contact with him because I didn't see him. He could have been in a hotel room, you know, just, you know, um, it could have been in a hotel room the whole time trying to do the flu, you know. But he's on his way to the hospital now, if you speak. Another... There might be another confirmed case of COVID-19 in Hamilton. Hmm. So, that means that I don't know why I have another, I hope, I hope the other guests and employees of Old Motel don't get it now because he got it. Other guests the whole motel may get it too, you know. Other motel guests and the motel and other guests may get it as well. That's what I'm worried about right now. And that is very close to my house. And I'm going to say, thank goodness for the Hamilton police doing what they've done. These officers deserve uh, credit for the time it due. They got here, the guy was there 20 minutes yelling and screaming at the top of his lungs. I hear, oh, and saying things that are, I guess he hears, seeing things, hearing things that are not there, like hallucinating. So I, um, uh, I called 911 up, thinking the guy may have very high fever this morning. The ambulance came, took him to the hospital. Thank goodness I did call 911 this morning on that guy. He might get a hospital and treat. He may have coronavirus, COVID-19. Anyways, now I'm saying this, I'm going to say, blog is over. The ambulance here. A guy's on his way to the hospital. As we speak, blog over.